Hello everyone, Ignore I'm here and welcome back to part 2 of my Vlad campaign. So, carrying on from where we left Bow! off, more than half of his left, and they I'll recently recruited a second lord, which would Do not hopefully make it fool. easier for us, as we can attack him outside the city. Massacre hopefully, fire. he won't run away. Nice, he's decided to stand and fight. So the garrison will come in, reinforcements, just under two minutes later. That will make this fight a little bit easier for us. Let's get it started. Once this is over with, we will have two full provinces under our control. And then we will decide on which way to expand. Looks like the reinforcements are coming in on the right hand side and I'm going to be fairly close to myself. So I think we will get prepared first for these reinforcements. Hopefully it pays off. Two more, well, it's better than nothing. Let's right. take out the lord nice and fast. You dare. And let's get prepared. These armies to come in. Interested, she's standing by. Noble of the night, Von Karstein's are the true empress. Thirty five seconds, just enough time to get it is done. Vlad, Isabella, and Isabella our vampire Karstein. over, hopefully. Wait reinforcements. Don't think we're gonna get there in time to intercept them, but never mind. Send the Grave Guardian to the force. Nice battle line here with the pendulum. We are immortal! Fortune 
kind. Vlad von Karstein! Charging down the line. Some force of those in their units. And where's the last? And that's it. Isabella, Isabella can push von through. Kastein. Blood Knights. With haste. Let's try and get these blood knights in behind. Give them. My fan hills will your time has come. And that pendulum down. We are the new order. One is available. Teaming up on the enemy lord here. Death and destruction. Much easier if he goes down. He's going down really fast. Attack! Knights to battle! Still struggling to pull For through. Sylvania. Lord of the Dead. Victory is mine. So let's push that flank. Looks like they are Death to the living. Crumbling. Nice and easy battle to begin with. No, what a shame we lost one unit skeletons. Vampire with nice hundred kills, mainly from the pendulum. And the Crypt Girls did fairly well as well. Oh, on that left hand flank on their own. got walls here so this will be a settlement battle. Be interesting to see what Waldenhof looks like. Channel again. Hopefully it goes in our favour. Oh, lost one. I am B. 
Think again, heroes can go in together. Knocked up by the grave guard. Speed this one up a bit as it won't take too long. We're all fairly weak. Bad Isabella and the vampire up. Oh, I doubt. Look at her before everything crumbles. Just the enemy lord left now. now ours. Temple Hoffer now down to a single lord, I think it is. And that should complete our two regions. Which is a great base to build from. I think we'll loot and occupy. A little bit more income. Have it secured. All shall know me and tremble. Let's get the growth going. Look at that there. Champion of the dark. Skill points, right? Two for the lad. of the undeath. Paul never went to raise dead. So it's quite useful. Shades next. Should be quite helpful. Anything of any use. I'll stick with the skellies for now. Devourer of light. So they attack us over the end turn. Get here, which is take up 
quite a lot of our resources. Wraith Knight. I'm not too bothered about them. Quite like a, the Banshees when we can get them for assassinations. I think that would be fairly helpful. Vampires. Hold off on that for now. I think we'll go for growth. We can always get rid of that later on. It's no longer needed. And we will end the turn there. Be interesting to see who actually declares war on us next. Hopefully, the Empire leave me alone for a little while. To get more established. Medium casualties for a lot and some. Hmm. Doesn't seem quite right, so we will quickly fight it. Do you know what auto resolve can be like in this game? Don't want to lose too many casualties as it will obviously slow me down from progressing. And we'll send the heroes. Bring death. Very well. Speed it up. That's obviously not really anything worth watching. We can just watch the three of them duke it out. Although Isabella again doesn't seem interested in helping. I think she quite enjoys just watching. Vlad do all the work. Actually missed out there. Probably should have used that battle to heal up some of my troops. Completely um, forgot how good Invitation in the heck is for the Vampire Count. So well sure to do that next time. Go again with the loot. And they're still not dead. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary though, for while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. Two blood kisses and blood drinker. Oof, Hellstar rocket batteries. Mm. I think we will look to get that fairly soon. King of Darkness. Vlad von Karstein. Wow. So they lose and they manage to get Graveguard straight off the rip. Interesting. Let's finish him off. We'll fight this one quickly again. Minimize the casualties. And then we will decide where we will move off to. Shuet Drake will be coming down shortly. Sure, she won't be friendly to us. And to be fair, I could really do with Darkness taking out early on, as I'm sure what else will be pain to deal with. This world is mine. Out. 
reaction. Deep off the Bring death! Zombies are uh, keeping the graveyard busy, which is useful. A nice rear charge on before they decide to disappear on me. Let's get out of there. One away from a pendulum. Should be the end of Templehof now, which means that we can start to look outwards and where we will conquer. Very close now to win the death. The nation calls. Back off um, Dranches over here, which we will probably look to wipe her out at some point. Although I think before moving out it might be a fairly good idea to deal with. Stuff like what? Is there anything else we can raise? Yes. Some extra I knew poison will be very know. helpful. Poison them dwarfs. Let's get some more growth going. Four turns. King of Darkness. What have they got? My axe thirsts for war. Twenty Black stack going over there. Swifter than death. Fairly decent garrisons, but a couple of things. Get that 
out. Ready for we'll make a second army. Just to help a little bit with the dwarfs. Templehof refugees. Let's see what happens when we accept. Don't think we actually get anything. Ooh. Chaos. Interesting. All shall know me and tremble. Wonder what happened there. I shall enslave the world. Very well. It is done. We can fast march over. For the wisdom. We've got an of army over here. Yeah. We thirst for war. For the wisdom of Valea. Fairly decent army. Disciplined. Oh, just can't get him. For the wisdom of Valea. Just. We're going to cancel. The axe thirst for war. Oh, well. My lord, a rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. Skaven. No, thank you. Don't want what you pesky boys about. Oh, dwarf. are they going to declare? Yeah. Kind of seen that coming. They've moved out. Strigai Empire. Bow before me. There's some dead. It's a fairly decent garrison, that should help. Beacon. They've jumped off. However. Completely left this undefended, however, if I move there, no. we may come and reinforce. So of the night. I think we'll move just there and see what they decide to do. Send the turn. Probably going to fall back to Zuthbar now that we've moved up. Encampment stance. Are they? Are they in range of Zuthbar there? Don't think so. Champion of the Dark. Take me for a wazak. Okay, well, I think we will leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we will see if we can stop him getting back to Zuffer. Draw out a garrison and hopefully take their capital for ourselves. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it will really help me out and I will see you all in the next one.